Hi there, my name is Travis and in this Lens Studio tutorial I'll be showing you how to use the segmentation template. The segmentation template lets you easily segment a portion of the camera and replace it with an image, tiled image, or post effect coloring. Multiple segmentation types are supported, including portrait background, hair, sky, and more. First, open Lens Studio and select the segmentation template to create a new project. To customize the segmentation template, first select the segmentation controller object in the objects panel on the left side of Lens Studio. We're then going to adjust the settings of the selected object in the inspector panel towards the right side of Lens Studio. For the purposes of the template, ignore the scene panel in the center. We'll always be selecting the segmentation controller object in the objects panel and tuning its settings in the inspector panel. The first thing we'll want to modify is the type of segmentation being used. The template is currently set to the portrait background segmentation texture, which renders the background around the user's portrait. You can change the segmentation type by clicking the segmentation texture field in the inspector. Then navigate to the segmentation textures folder and select one of the included segmentation textures. Portrait hair segmentation, for example, only shows the background inside the user's hair. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to switch the segmentation texture back to portrait background. If you ever want the exact opposite effect of any of the segmentation textures, you can select the segmentation texture in the resources panel and check inverse mask in the inspector panel. Here, you also have the ability to feather the edge of the segmentation and control the feathering's intensity. Next, we'll tune the background settings for the segmentation controller. As before, First select the segmentation controller object in the objects panel. We'll first tune the solid background color. To enable the solid background color, make sure use background color is checked. When enabled, you are able to tune the color of the background and the alpha or how transparent the solid color background is. Moving on, the segmentation controller has the ability to add an image or tiled image as a background element. First, you need to import your own custom image. This can be a PNG or JPEG that's less than 2048 by 2048 in resolution. To import the custom image, drag and drop it into the resources panel. Now, with the segmentation controller object selected, set the image texture field to your newly imported texture. Next, you're able to control the alpha of the image or how transparent it is. You can also control the blend mode of the image, which will allow you to blend into the device's camera. The available blend modes are Normal, Screen, and Multiply. The next setting on image you'll want to configure is if you want to use a tile image or a single background image. When the tile checkbox is checked, tiling is enabled. When tiling is enabled, you can use the tile density slider to control how big each tile is. Tiled background can be scrolled easily by enabling the scrolling checkbox. When enabled, you have the ability to tune the scroll speed in the horizontal and vertical directions. If you don't want the background to scroll, simply uncheck the scrolling checkbox. For a single background image, uncheck the tiled checkbox. When using a non-tiled image, you have the option to choose the type of fill mode for your background image. For most images, fill is going to be the best option because it completely fills the background with the image without distorting the image's aspect ratio. Finally, to show off the last feature of Segmentation Controller, Post Effect, I'm going to switch the segmentation texture back to Portrait Hair. When the Use Post Effect checkbox is enabled in the Segmentation Controller, a post effect is applied to the segmented area. In the case now, the user's hair. The post effect uses an input color lookup table image to adjust the coloring of the lens. We can create a new post effect texture by clicking Add New Post Effect Textures in the Resources panel and selecting one of the included textures. For this tutorial, I'll select black and white. Now, with the segmentation controller selected, I'll assign the Post Effect Texture field to my newly created black and white Post Effect Texture. You can dial up or down the intensity of the Post Effect Texture by tuning the Post Effect Alpha slider. Note, you can also always create your own Post Effect Texture by following the post effect guide on lensstudio.snapchat.com. You can add additional objects to the project as you normally would by importing a 3D model into the resources panel or by selecting add new in the objects panel. For this tutorial, I'll add a trophy model to the scene and position it in the scene panel. By default, the model will be added on the default layer, 
which will not be segmented. If you want your object above your segmentation, you can stop here. If you want your newly added object to be segmented, select your newly added object in the Objects panel, and then in the Inspector panel, set the Objects layer to Masked Layer. Or, in the case of objects meant for the orthographic camera, the orthographic Masked Layer. With the appropriate layer set, you'll now see your newly added object also segmented by the selected segmentation texture. Before submitting your lens, you need to set your lens's icon and name. Click the Project Info button in the top left corner of Lens Studio. First, set the name of your lens. Then, select an image from your computer to set your lens's icon. A lens icon is a 320 by 320 square image. The circle lens border of the icon is automatically applied to the square image when you set your icon. Now that you've given your lens an icon and name, you're ready to submit. To submit your lens, click the Submit Lens button also in the top left corner of Lens Studio. There, you'll be asked to log in to your Snapchat account if you haven't already. Once logged in, confirm the submission by pressing Submit. When the lens is live, you'll get an email with a snap code and URL for sharing. For more information on submitting and sharing your lens, visit the Submitting and Sharing sections of the Lens Studio Guides. Thanks for watching, and have fun creating your own segmentation lenses.